Hello and welcome back to <laughs> Tenerife. And again, sitting out on my patio, there is this horrible machine that we're trying to get to work. Um, the, based on the tall bay, as everyone should know by now, um, it works, or in theory it should work, um, when the field, or when one of the stators surrounding the rotor is lifted, it creates a gap in the field that the rotor wants to find. It wants to go down to the least amount of flux it can find and then sit in there like that. So if we lift a stator it, it uh, affect, affects the field and away it goes whizzing round. That's fine. Now to get that effect if we can't physically lift the magnet we must try and uh, reduce the field somehow or other so that leads us on to these th weird and wonderful things here which is which I've knocked up uh, they're shields the idea being that the rotor comes around and uh, knocks the field off or reduces the field enough I don't want complete reduction of field, we just want a teeny weeny weeny bit less magnetic flux on, on the stator to make the thing work, in theory. Now, I've knocked these up using sheet steel, which I think was a mistake, uh, because although I haven't put all of the shields in, I'm still experimenting, uh, we can see in this instance that um, if we're moving clockwise and I lift that stator there, whoops, we lift that stator there, nothing happens. Okay. Uh, why doesn't it move? Because these one, two, three, four, five, yeah, perhaps five magnets are in, tra in attraction to the steel shield. Uh, I'm glad I found out now, rather than making all eight of these. Um, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to replace the steel with aluminium and um, I will perhaps stick one cent coins or other paraphernalia <laughs> on the front of the aluminium shield and uh, try and get a reduction in flux using different materials apart from steel that is. <laughs> 